Hey my sunflowers, watch me do this ombre using all of my Sequoia Matoka products. Now this neon yellow color that I'm using is called Jasmine, which also glows in the dark. Our colors, our acrylics are self-labeling, our acrylics are buttery, our acrylics can also be used as dip. And I'm pairing this all off with our low order primalist EMA monomer that is in a medium setting, which you don't need any additional droppers. And our acrylics and our products are made for beginners, but they're also great and perfect for immediate and advanced nail technician. Now, this pink color that I'm using is more on the sheer side. It's called blush, and I always like to put down a small bead of the second color right above that first color. Now, depending on how big of a bead you pick up, you may have to go in with one or two beads. Now, this bead was too sheer, and I can still see the harsh disconnect, so I have to go back in with another bead to ensure that you don't see that harsh line in the middle. As you saw, our, my look with the powder ratio was good. My bead was on one side of the brush. It wasn't runny, and that's what you want. You want to be able to control your acrylics. Now I'm going to go in with our Glossy Clear to just encapsulate. That way when I file, I do not file into my design. Now this is how I do my ombre. It works for me and I always get the flawless ombre ever. If this video helps you, um, make sure to like, share, and comment down below. Shop SM, y'all. Click the link in the bio. www.goodvibesprettynails.com.